Hi, I'm Sarah Wells Rowan, and I am in my studio at the Village Potters Clay Center here in the River Arts District in Asheville, North Carolina. Thank you so much for joining me this morning. I am making vessels. In fact, I have been making 500 vessels, each one with two and a half pounds of clay, and each one unique, every single one different. They're called Vessels of Hope, and it's part of a campaign to help sustain the Village Potters Clay Center, which is a premier clay center in the southeastern United States. We have over 100 potters that study with us at any given time, and over 30 to 35 of them are advanced potters with aspirations to become professional potters. We are really proud of what we do here and our mission is to establish and maintain a creative community that nurtures, encourages, inspires, and teaches skills and, and throwing with excellence, hand building, sculpture, multiple firing atmospheres. This campaign for a hundred dollars contribution, you'll receive one of these vessels of hope and you will be sewing into the sustainability of not only our craft center, but we are tithing 10% of the proceeds to other artists who are also struggling during this COVID season. If you click on the link of my name, Sarah Wells Rowland, you're not only gonna see my body of work, I've been a member of the Guild since 1991. I've been making pots since 1986, but you'll also see the Vessels of Hope campaign. So if you'd like to purchase one, you can just add it to the cart. We've had people that have purchased 10 and 15 and they are supporting us in our mission during this time of hardship and also sowing seeds of hope as they give these as gifts, corporate gifts to people who are working together in unity through this crisis, gifts to family members, gifts of encouragement, with each vessel comes a message of hope. I'm gonna stretch this vessel out a little bit and I'm gonna make it very symmetrical and then I'm gonna put motion and movement into it. Each vessel is unique in its shape. It's also all called to be simple. Everything that I'm doing is simplistic and done on the wheel, thrown finished, no reapproaching this pot later with handles or attachments. They're just vessels, containers. So here at the Village Potters Clay Center, we teach and we teach a lot. We have programs that people study with us from one to three years. We have people that study from the community. We also have an online education and mentoring program. So people can study with us from other countries. Our reach is broad and we're very proud of it. And amazing, amazing potters come through this center. We have a program called Master's Series where myself and other potters teach areas of clay in excellence and skill. We bring regional potters. I don't know if you know this, but Western North Carolina has so many amazingly talented potters, and we use them here, those that teach, for guest staff teachers. Many of them are guild members. Okay, so you can see now that I've gotten some wonderful volume to this pot. I make pots that are functional, but I also make pots that move over into the art realm where they're making visual statements, filling spaces with beauty and accent. So I'm gonna take my finger right now and I'm gonna move up this pot quickly and create motion and volume. Look at that. Isn't that wonderful? Mm, I really like that. Now, I'm gonna take the same neck and I'm gonna make it a little narrower. I like these vessels to hold a beautiful bouquet of flowers for the window, the kitchen table, 
somewhere special in the home or office. So now that I have this shape, I am going to take this right here and create a little accented neck. Yeah, I'm liking that. I'm going to choke this in just a little bit, which means I'm going to make it a little more narrow. Okay. I'm going to bring it in and accent it. So now I've got a real strong element right here curving in into this bottleneck. Very pleased with that. I'm liking this. I'm gonna give this a little roundness to it. So I'm setting up a pull right there and sort of mirror the roundness in the swirl of the bottle, of the vessel. I'm putting roundness in this neck. That's made me like it more. How about you, do you like it? So if you decide to buy one of these vessels, just click on the link, click on Vessels of Hope, and add it to your cart. There's more than, uh, at this time that I'm making this video, there's about 50 available. If I sell them all out at the Guild Fair, I'm going to make more because this is sustaining us at a time when not all our students can be here. You know about the closure. It's going on everywhere. And so I thank you so much for your support with us. I'm going to stretch this out just a little bit. There we go. Make up the base a little wider. Catch center back right here. I feel pretty good about this one. I'm gonna find that swirl and swell it out just a little bit more. There it is. A couple little minor adjustments to get the proportions and the balance exactly how I like it. If you decide to buy one, you don't choose it. You decide to surrender to Providence. All of them are fabulous, and you will receive one of the 500. So I welcome you to join us. I welcome you to support the Village Potter's Clay Center. I welcome you to click on my link, see my body of work from functional pots to art pots and vessels of hope. Thank you so much for joining me, and thank you so much for supporting all the members of the Southern Highland Craft Guild. Again, I'm Sarah Wells Rowland. Just click on the link, Sarah Wells Rowland. You can go to my Facebook page, Sarah Wells Rowland, and you can see videos of people receiving their vessels, unpacking their vessels, demonstrations of me making vessels. This has been a season of hope, and I've been making vessels of hope. So thank you so much for joining us.